signs this is tanya lee of harmonia and welcome to your june 2024 tarot forecast we are starting out here with your challenge and we're going to be using the lyran deck to get us started here air signs this is for gemini libra and aquarius and just a reminder that this is just a mini monthly forecast if you want the exclusive longer content divided by each individual sign go over to harmonia friends and become a member and there is a free month trial guys so that you can gain access to the Gemini, Libra and Aquarius readings, the full readings over there. Okay. Um, and if you want a sneak peek, just go into the comments and look at the titles to see if that may resonate for you. All right, let's get started here. Calling in our guides, our ancestors and our ascendant masters. Spirit, what is going on for the collective air signs here? Gemini, Libra and Aquarius and happy birthday out there to my gems. Here we go. Boundaries. No is yes to self love. No is yes to self-love. Six. So something here is being realigned. I love how there's a vulture up here because it's kind of like a scavenger bird. Um, but I also feel like my air signs are working on some self-love here and discernment and respecting boundaries, even if you are placed on another side here. I mean, you could be giving boundaries too, but you may be respecting boundaries. So let's see what's going on here. Air signs. It says, when you honor the energy field around yourself through boundary setting, you propel your entire species into a state of sovereignty where the new earth is built. Yes, everything is connected in the great field of oneness, but within this oneness is found individuality and one's unique expression that has been unfortunately tampered by outdated leadership of, well, mankind. Throughout those chapters, the humans learn to close the inner authentic meter and replicate others in order to avoid certain punishment or even death. The outdated powers attempted for too long to use forms of social manipulation to control this compliance. This card comes to you, air signs, that it is indicating for you to become aware of your personal boundaries and be clear with them. Is there any situation or individual who may be stepping past a line of what feels good to you? Or are you overcompensating and not giving yourself enough time to properly recharge? Or are you stepping over someone's personal boundary? So there are some challenges here when it comes to the playing field. And especially when we want to remain authentic. Because I do feel like with a scavenger here, um, you think kind of a pack almost, but these are lionesses. They're not the li lions themselves. These are the female lionesses. So let's see what the cards have to say here with this challenge of these boundaries. Remember, no reversals on initial story play. We are using the new mythic tarot deck. Here we go. <laughs> That's some shady stuff going on there. We're starting off right off the bat with the Seven of Swords. Hmm. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And the Seven of Pentacles. This has a lot to do with your material gain or 
your time well spent. Your challenge this month is you may have to keep certain things. I almost, this is going to sound very strange, but I hear hidden agenda, hidden agenda, especially if you are working towards, because I feel like there are some ideas or offers that may be put in front of you this month, air signs, that you're going to have to do some careful consideration if you want to step into this. Now, for some of you, this is going to be more about work. Others of you, it's about collaboration. But I do feel this challenge, the tough part about this is has to do with the past because I feel like my air signs have had some really shady shit happen to them in the past, whether it was deceit, lies, cheating, or feeling cheated out on. And some of you just feel cheated out on yourselves, and that's why you keep to yourself. But I feel this, this level of getting out of hiding and a need to come up front with something tangible. And it's going to play differently for each individual sign. But this is a part of your past that's being cleared with this challenge or the capability of going through something here that um, may remind you a lot of this ickiness or this deceit that is being well resurfaced for you this month. Now, when we have the King of Pentacles, this is somebody here who's extremely reliable, well-invested, knows how to take care of themselves. He's like the dad card for me. He's somebody here who's very practical, knows how to take care of things, really good dad. <laughs> and that may be you, um, or you may be dealing with someone like this, um, or this could even be a boss. But I feel this energy more in the hands of being more practical with how you utilize your time and efforts. And there is something here. Now, this king is also someone here who's very, they're not very daring. They do things by the book. Um, like I said, very practical. So always wants to have a little something extra over and usually for the well-beings of others. But there's something here where I feel that with some of this challenges is that you may have, and it's going to be different, like I said, for each sign when we get into Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but you may have some issues here on your self-worth or not not knowing your full potential or full, full worth. This may be something here that you keep more uh, low-key, low-key. Maybe you're afraid of others taking your ideas. Maybe you kind of play dumb. <laughs> I mean, some of you may. Uh, this is a card here usually of opportunity to, well, once you plant it, watch the seeds grow and see what can happen out of this. But this card's a little bit different because I feel like he's got kind of the energy here of pondering of, hmm, do I add to my pile because I'm very aligned. I'm very used to my structure. I may have some air signs here who struggle with fairness and not fairness of like, you can't be fair. I feel that my air signs fair uh, struggle is that when they add something new, is this going to be balanced out? I feel your challenge has been poor boundaries. Um, not being able to communicate, ah, uh, because it is swords. All right, it is swords you may have not necessarily communicated or stated right off the bat and being authentic. Remember that was a card of being very authentic, maybe because you're afraid to express yourself, um, not to hurt others to fit in. It could be that. But regardless when I see the seven of pentacles here and this king of pentacles, they always make me add, especially with the pentacles. So I'm seeing the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles here is about mastering or putting your efforts into something. 
So this month, my air signs have the challenge of not only discernment and placing boundaries, but being very authentic with how they place them and why they place them. And also that when they do so, that they put all of their efforts into whatever this new venture is, whether this is a new job, whether this is about your self-improvement, whether this is a more well-balanced relationship in work, friendship, love, so many different areas we can go into. But I do feel like you are going to have a challenge here of putting it all in um, and being very clear about what you want, how you want to invest this. Maybe that's a discussion here that you've heard somebody else um, say something, but it hasn't really been discussed here. Maybe you've been holding back on how you want to invest, how you want to utilize this extra pentacle or this individual here who's giving you an offer. There's a chance here for clear communication though about setting what is right and what your needs are and what your desires are this month. So we're going to break into each individual sign. Like I said, would love to see you over at Harmonia Friends uh, to see Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius reading. But if not, this is where we part ways. You guys take care and have a good one.